Resource Files, this time on Metasploit Minute. This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Move It. Today, we're going to be going over resource files in MSF Console. Now, we already went over make RC in the previous segment, and that made a resource file of all the commands that we typed since we started MSF Console. So let me show you a, a couple different cool things that you can do with resource files. First off is msfconsole.rc. Now, we've talked a bit about the uh, .msf4 directory. Let me show you about that real quick. We're going to go into the msf4 directory and list. There is no, right now there's no msfconsole.rc in there. But if we make an msfconsole.rc, like just nano, I know vi, msfconsole.rc, and we say show options. And that's the only thing we want to do in it. We exit out. And I'm going to remove this config file just so that it doesn't do extra stuff for this demo. We exit out of our, we have a session, exit out of here. We start MSF console back up. What it's going to do is automatically see that MSF console.rc is there and automatically load that command. So we see that's what exactly it did. So that's cool. We can use um, the dot msf console dot rc to do that, uh, but we could also do it from the command line. So, like I said before, msf console and all the other commands in it inside of Metasploit have the dash h. So, one of those options, as you can see right here, is the resource file. So, let's do a dash r, and then we want to do uh, exploit example. I think it's still there. Exploit example.rb, I mean, it, you can make it rc or whatever you want. As soon as we run that, we can see that it took our exploit example, did show options, set the user, set the password, and then set, showed options. And then finally, it went back to um, make rc, save, background, and all the stuff that was in that file. So if we had edited to make, make that a little bit more useful, that would have been what it ran. Now, there are a bunch of resource scripts that are already inside of Metasploit that you can take a look at for examples. So if you look in scripts resource, so in your Metasploit directory, scripts resource, you can see that all of these are already here. Now I'm gonna just show you one real quick, run all post. So if we scroll up a little bit, um, let's run all post, here's some examples of what it's supposed to look like. And then we get to this Ruby tag. This Ruby tag basically says that, okay, I'm gonna run all of these commands, but hey, there's a HTML-like Ruby tag. I'm gonna stop just running commands, Metasploit console. I'm gonna stop running commands and I'm gonna switch into my Ruby mode. And basically what it says is I can now run like do loops, each loops, if statements, all of this stuff. So what this is doing is doing run single, which says run this single command, just like you could do outside of MSF console. Set the session, sets the session that the post module is targeting to whatever session it is. So the framework.sessions.each says every session I have, put it into an array. Then it's gonna say, all right, for every, every item of that array, I'm going to run these commands. So it's gonna say, set the session, to session one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or however many sessions we have, it's going to say I'm going to print the module that I'm running, and the session is going, and then it's going to run single, run, and then sleep, and then ends the loop. So in this resource script, if we are, so our sessions, do we have any sessions? No, we don't have any sessions. So if I was to run a resource. And let, let me look, show you this real quick. Inside of, our, inside of our question mark thing, we have the resource command. So resource, and then uh, run all post. So it processes the resource file, and, and it's done because we're not actually in a post module. 
So that's the cool thing then, and that's the expansion that you can get into resource files. Because not just is it going to run commands, but now I can, I can access the database. And actually, let me show you that real quick, because that's another one that I absolutely love, is the MSSQL Brute. So the MSSQL Brute one was written by um, Carnal Onage or Chris Gates. And what it does is checks all of, the, all of the services in your database for something that says MSSQL, whatever port it's on. So this could be on any port. And it adds it to a, a, an array of hosts and IPs, or ports and uh, IPs, and then runs this module, the MSSQL brute force module, that by default can only accept one port at a time, and runs through it uh, on all of the database systems. So even if, even if your target has um, MSSQL on 1433, which is default, and then on 1890 and then 1740 and then all these other ports, which since MSSQL 2005 and on does by default by switching it up, um, now you can run, you know, run your brute force against it with just this small, short resource script and be done. So that's it. Um, I want to thank you for watching um, Metasploit Minute and hit me up at msf, hack, uh, msf at hack5.org. For more shows like these, go to metasploitminute.com and thank you for supporting the show. If you want to support us even more, go to hackshop.com, H-A-K-shop.com, enter code MUBIX, and you'll get some really cool stickers like these with the Metasploit Minute. And until next time, I'm MUBIX, and I'll be hacking until the cows come home.